Meta released the second generation of its Ray-Ban glasses in October. I've been testing them over the last couple of weeks and I really like them. Even after factoring in the premium you pay in comparison to regular Ray-Bans. The $299 headliner model I have feels identical to traditional Ray-Bans but with more smarts. Similar to the first model, they allow you to capture video, snap pictures, place calls through your phone and listen to music. The speakers also are 50% louder, according to Meta. There's also a better camera that takes photos in portrait mode instead of landscape, which makes them better suited for social media posts. Meta's Reality Labs unit, which includes its wearable products such as the smart glasses and the Meta Quest, contributes less than 1% to the company's revenue. Even so, its wearables represent Meta's attempt at making headway in the devices space in addition to its massive advertising and social media presence. Here's what you should know about the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. The Ray-Ban Meta Glasses are marketed to show that they can be worn every day just like a regular pair of sunglasses. To do that, they need to be as comfortable, stylish and useful as your regular pair. Meta and Ray-Ban nailed that aspect. They're comfortable to wear and aren't clunky. They weigh just a few grams more than regular Ray-Ban glasses. And, while I was testing out the glasses in the office, I was asked several times why I was wearing sunglasses indoors, so that gives you a gauge of how similar they look to classic Ray-Bans. They don't look weird, I wore my smart sunglasses without using any of the tech features, and they work just as well as a normal pair of polarized Ray-Ban sunglasses. For people who want to replace their corrective lenses, you can get prescription lenses just like you would with the pair you already use. They're convenient if you want to take pictures in the moment without having to reach for your phone. You just press a button on the right side of your glasses or say, Hey Meta, take a photo. I liked using them to snap pictures walking around New York City. Just check out this side by side of the same tree. The one on the left is taken with my iPhone and the one on the right is taken with my glasses. It's easy to import the pictures or videos to the MetaView app on a phone. And then you can save them to your camera roll. It's obvious to others when you're taking a photo or video. The circle on the right side of the glasses flashes when you take a photo and it pulses when you're filming. So it would be difficult to take a photo or video without someone noticing. That's an important feature for Ray-Ban Meta glasses to become ingrained into mainstream society. People around you know when you're recording. You can't even block the light and take a photo. The glasses will refuse to snap the picture if you try. The audio and calling capabilities are my favorite part, though.